today's topic that I want to talk about is a beautiful hadith where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam tells us and shows us how to clarify or if you wish to say how to purify our hearts and indeed purification of the heart is one of the most important tasks and missions in Islam. So many people focus on different things. Some focus on making a lot of ibadah, a lot of forms of worship, which is by itself a good deed. Others focus on, for example, making a lot of dhikr or paying money for charity which is also good deed. You may find people focusing on seeking knowledge. And again, this is indeed one of the greatest um, tasks a Muslim does. But without any doubt, one of the most important, if not the most important thing, is to clarify the heart. And why is that? Because the Prophet told us that Allah the Almighty does not look at your body and He does not look at your wealth. So Allah doesn't look if you're black or white, if you're tall or short, if you're fat or thin. Allah does not look if you're old or young. And He doesn't look at, as well if you are rich or poor, if you have a good business going on or if you are an employee with a small salary. The Prophet says that Allah looks at your heart and your deeds. And Allah mentions also in the Quran that no wealth, no nor offspring would benefit a person on the day of judgment except those who come in or who come with pure heart, healthy heart, qalbun salim. Scholars say that the characteristics of such a heart is to be pure of envy, pure of hatred, pure of associating others with Allah, and it would be pure from desires as well. The hadith at hand, which I would like to talk about, is a hadith that was reported or narrated by an Imam Muslim in the Sahih and it was narrated by Abu Hurairah may Allah be pleased with him he said that the Prophet said do not envy one another and do not bid one another out for raising the price and no, don't nurse hatred or enmity and don't give your back to one another. And don't enter into a transaction when the others have entered into the transaction. And be as fellow brothers and servants of Allah. The Muslim is the brother of another Muslim. He does not wrong him, let him down or look down upon him. Taqwa, that is piety or the fear of Allah is here and he pointed to his chest, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, three times. And then he said, it is sufficient evil for a man to look down upon his Muslim brother. Every Muslim is sacred to another Muslim, his blood, his property, and his honor. In this beautiful hadith, the Prophet, والسلام, is telling us how we should deal with one another. And if you look at this hadith, you will find that it has a lot of lessons that can be learned. Yet, they are difficult lessons. In the sense that, you will find a lot of the brothers and the sisters would probably think that this is too much, it is too difficult. I'd rather just pray and maybe wear the hijab and that is all. I cannot have all of this and I cannot feed people in such a fashion. Well, tough luck, brother and sister, because you have to have this within you to be a real and true believer. 
And as we know that the branches of Iman are divided into few and 60 or 70 branches. The highest of them is La ilaha illallah and the lowest is removing obstacles from the road of the people and bashfulness or al-haya is one of the branches of Iman as the Prophet said Now this hadith as stated before it is report or it is narrated by Abu Huraira may Allah peace with him and it is reported in Sahih Muslim. The first sentence in it or the first instruction do not envy and envy is the first sin ever to take place in the heavens when Allah instructed all the angels to prostrate to Adam and they did except Satan who was from the jinn and he refused and when Allah asked him why did you not prostrate to Adam as I have commanded you and he said I am better than him you created me from fire and created him from clay. So this is why he refused to prostrate to Adam because he was envious. How is it that someone who was just created can come and be in such a position as Allah Azza wa gave to Adam? And it was also the first sin ever to be committed on the ground and that is when Allah Azza wa Jal accepted the sacrifice of one of Adam's sons and did not accept the sacrifice of the other son so he killed him and also we know what the brothers of Prophet Yusuf Prophet Joseph, peace be upon him, we know what they did to Joseph by throwing him in the well and leaving him to die. Uh, and the Muslims feel and sense this amount of hatred and envy in the people of the scripture. Allah the Almighty says many of the people of the scripture wish that if they could turn you away as disbelievers after you have believed out of envy from their own selves even after the truth has become manifest unto them. There is a lot to say in regard to envy but I'm afraid that there are people at the door and the mobile of the missus is um, okay, give me a couple of minutes and I'll come back. Inshallah. And we can uh, open the floor for questions if you wish. 